Hey, my name is Samar. I also go by Sam or First Time Panner. Any of those you want to call me, you can. This will be a very quick update or also finale. Um, this will be the finale for my 54321 project. Um, before I get into the update and everything, um, this project was created by Elizabeth. She's Shiny Happy Pans on Instagram, so definitely check her out. This is a project where you just pan five items at a time, one that's five years old, four years old and so on until you get to a one-year-old item um, and the whole point is to pan things that's old and new and stuff in the middle so that you don't really neglect any age of your collection um, and I decided just for my own self I decided that I wanted to do all lip products um, you don't even have to just do makeup, you can do anything you want. Uh, but I just wanted to do lip products because, yes, I do have five-year-old lip products, or I did have five-year-old lip products in my collection. Um, and it was definitely, lip products is the largest category. Um, so I just decided that this year I would do five lip products, five years old through one year old. And slowly but surely, I've been making my way through those products. They all had finished goals. Um, so for my five-year-old product, that was my Fenty Mini Gloss Balm in the shade Cheeky, which I actually just finished last month, last update. Um, so check out this entire series. If you haven't seen it before, I'll leave it linked at the end of the video and in the description box. Um, and then my four-year-old item was my Revlon lipstick in the shade Mink. My three-year-old item was my... I'm having trouble remembering all these products now because I finished them so long ago. Um, my three-year-old item was actually the first one I finished, which was my NYX Shape Loud Lip Duo. So it had originally had um, a brown lip liner on one end and oh my gosh I'm just speaking too fast uh, and then I had a red lip crayon on the other end and I only have the lip crayon left so I was able to finish that off pretty quickly in about two months my two-year-old item was still in the project and that was my dose of colors um, lip duo and then my one-year-old item was my ABH lip primer which I finished a few months back and so yeah I only had one item left and this project which was the two-year-old lip duo and i have finally finished this i'm so excited i said last update i wasn't going to do an update this month like i would just wait two months unless i finished it and it's gone or at least like it's gone to my standards this is the lip gloss side and as you can see or maybe you can't see because i've like there's the light is very bright let me turn it down really quickly okay there's probably a bit of a shadow on my face now um, on this side, but that's okay. Um, this is what the lip gloss looks like and Literally the only thing that's left is the stuff on the very bottom that the doe foot doesn't reach I've taken out the stopper and it is completely gone. Like even the doe foot is dry. Look There's oh well There was a tiny bit, but that was not even enough for one application. Oh my gosh My products are making me look like a liar. But anyway on the other side we have the um liquid lipstick this was by the way in the shade flirt and the liquid lipstick is in the shade romance and i actually also took out the stopper from the, li the liquid lipstick i said i wasn't going to do that but i just love this shade so much i love both of these sides so much and it's discontinued um so i really wanted to get as much as out of this as i could and i was pairing this with the blue eyeliner that's in my old new gifted blue project pan and it worked really well for that i use this quite a bit actually um but as you can see like i've really scraped the sides i scraped the sides like three times um like for three days straight just so i could get as much product out as i could and with whatever's left since i swatched the lip gloss i'll just swatch the liquid lipstick but as you can see, for a liquid lipstick, that's pretty dry. Um, and yeah, there's nothing left on this doe foot either. So now that this is done, that means my 54321 project, at least for this year, is completed. I've hit my goal on everything. I finished everything and I am so happy. This is the first project that I finished this year and I really definitely did not think I was going to finish this project early um, and I learned a lot throughout I'm gonna put this down now I'm like waving it around um, I definitely learned a lot about my or like my lip collection through this project first 
I do not really like red lipstick. Um, I know it's like a staple for most people to have red lipsticks in their collection. I have multiple red lipsticks for one reason or another. They end up in my collection, but I really don't and I mean it I do not wear red lipstick unless it's in a project I never ever reach for it naturally I think from now on I'm just not going to buy any more red lipstick if I get to a point where I don't have any more in my collection because I've decluttered everything or like things have gone bad and I had to throw them away um potentially I might buy like one shade of red lipstick just like for the holidays or something that like really suits me and is my favorite shade of red on me but um for now yeah i'm definitely not going to buy any shade of red in the near future i also learned that um other than the color poplar primer which is like the dry waxy one i'm actually wearing it now um i do not need to buy lip primer i bought the abh lip liner or <laughs> lip primer because at the time i was panning a lot of liquid lipsticks and i guess i still am um but at the time i was panning like four or five different liquid lipsticks and um i like to use like some sort of lip balm or something under my lips uh, or like under the liquid lipstick so that it doesn't dry my lips out too much um but i quickly realized that lip primer or like a sort of like softer less dry lip primer is basically just like a lip balm it's like lip smackers i just turn my brightness back up a bit um another thing that i learned because this project was very insightful um is that i <laughs> will never ever need to buy another nude lipstick. I finished my Revlon lipstick in the shade Mink, which at the time, or like I guess technically it still is, my favorite um, like just purely neutral nude lipstick. Um, I haven't found like anything else really sold on the market right now that's similar. Um, so I was going to buy a replacement because I have really needed needed nude lipsticks since I finished it but very recently I went through my entire um, lipstick collection and I swatched every single nude lipstick that I have and I have found one <laughs> li um, lipstick that is pretty much identical to that lipstick sorry my fan is like buzzing I don't know why but anyway um it is also discontinued but I've only used it a few times so I have pretty much all of it left okay it was really annoying me so I just turned it off but um, I realized also that I have dozens of new lipsticks in my collection and I do not ever 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 need to buy another new lipstick side note I actually have not bought I almost said boughten um, the Minnesota's trying to jump out of me I have not bought any lipsticks this entire year which is crazy because um lipstick is my like greatest weakness when it comes to makeup and i think doing this project really helped me to like only use the stuff that i have and not start looking for other things outside of my collection and then it also helped me realize that i have like so many of each shade of lipstick lipstick is definitely my most out of control category in my entire beauty collection so i'm really glad i haven't bought any there's still time the year's not over but now that i realize this i'm going to really try not to buy any lipstick and i honestly don't think i'll need to because i have so much of everything so that's it for this update um i'm sad to see this go but i'm really glad that i got my use out of it and now that i've used everything up in this i'm kind of ready to let these shades go um i really really love the lip gloss but I can easily find something to replace it and I'm just so glad about like all of my achievements and all of my insights from this project. Thank you to Elizabeth for creating this because that would not have happened without you and I will be doing this project again next year. I've actually already picked most of my products um, that I'm going to do next year. It will again be an all lip product project for me um, but I encourage you if you have the time um consider doing this project as well like you don't have to just do lip products but it really helps you get through 
like the project intended old and new items and pretty much everything in between and it's just really easy no pressure only five items you can set any goal you want it doesn't have to be finished goal um but i would love to watch other people doing this project i'll see you in my next video which will be my september uh, makeup recap which this will be featured in so make sure to check that out and i'll just see you then until then i hope you have a great day thank you so much for watching bye